Hey everyone, hope that everybody's having an awesome day. Today I'm going to be reviewing the products that I ordered from Yanobi Shop um, earlier this year, kind of late spring to early summer that I was super, super excited to try. Um, one of the items you guys have actually seen in my last use of the stash video, the hair and body whip. Um, since I ordered it when it was kind of hot outside, it did come with um, the caution that it may arrive melted due to the high temperatures and mine was um, melted almost you know completely so I use it in one use and I did mention that I would try it again because I did like the um, product when I use it to you know seal my hair after I applied my leave-in conditioner so um, I haven't seen it on the site so I don't know if it is discontinued or not um, there's also another item I'm going to be talking with you guys about my favorite item from the line that I also didn't see on the website so I'm going to ask the owner on her Facebook page you know what's going on with those two products and annotate them um, in this video once I figure out um, if they are still available on the site I really hope the second item has not been discontinued because it's one of my favorite finds of the year so um, with that being said the first item that we're going to be chatting about is the silky shade cream and um, this is a really nice blend of butters. I'm going to have everything down below, you know, um, ingredients, price, all that fun stuff. But just to give you an idea, this has shea butter, aloe vera butter, um, olive oil, coconut oil, vitamin E, jojoba oil. So a nice yummy blend of oils. Perfect for sealing. And as well, it says that you can use it for styling, twists, and wash and goes, as well as using it in the lock method, which I still haven't tried, funnily enough, and I'm planning to soon. Um, so this is just a really nice blend of oils and butters and the thing that I like about it is that she puts the date that it was made because everything's like you know handmade fresh to order this is May 13, 2013 and if you're a PJ like me that's really really helpful when um you know you're trying to like check in on your stash and see what you need to use up how long you've had it so I really like that they do that and you know what you're getting is nice and fresh so that's pretty awesome here's what it is a nice yummy rich yellow shea butter blend um, and it's not stiff at all. It's really, really creamy to the point where it almost feels um, like it's got some wet, like some moisture in there. Some, I don't know, moisturizing capabilities. Here it is. It melts down to a nice oil. And what I like about it is that I don't need a ton of it. I seal from root to tip. I don't just seal on my ends because you guys know my hair gets really dry. So I like to seal in all that moisture from the get-go. Um, and the fact that it's like a creamy butter blend, it's not like stiff. I really am able to just spread it evenly and distribute it through my hair with no problem. And it feels really good. It gives my hair a nice weight and it smooths it really well and prepares it for the next step of my process, which is styling with whichever product that I'm going to use in for that day. So I really like that. It has a nice, like, fresh, herbally peppermint scent. It has, like, an essential oil blend, it says, and I really like it. It's nice. It's not overwhelming, and it's, like, really soothing. So definitely um, interested in this one as a future repurchase. Really nice, great sealer. I've also used it to um, smooth my twists if they are on their last leg and got some frizzies and add some shine back to them, as well as using it for, like, buns and stuff like that. Really enjoy it. Um, the next item is the aloe, the green tea and aloe hydrating dew, and it is a water-based refresher spray. And um, one of the good things about this is, unlike some refresher sprays that kind of just have that one single stream jet that just kind of like torpedoes into your head, this one sprays um, a bigger surface area, which is really really nice. It smells like clover, which is one of the ingredients. Um, I'm going to post, you know, all the info down below, like I mentioned earlier, because some of the ingredients kind of go like here. And y'all, I do not have the best eyesight, so I'll just give you the highlights of the ingredients and post um, full ingredient list down below. So this has um, jojoba oil, green tea, castor oil, essential oils, clover, uh, aloe vera juice. So a lot of nice and yummy things in it. So... As I showed you, it's water-based, and um, I use it to mainly when my hair is drying, when I'm in the process of styling it. Like, you know, you're almost done with your styling routine, but some of those sections are, like, getting close to 90, 95% dry. I'll spritz it before I'm um, applying my product and completing my styling. Um, I intended to use this to refresh my, you know, dry hair, which is how I used it in the beginning. But um, I finally come to accept that my hair just does not like water-based um, 
and liquidy refreshers. Usually when I apply it to my hair, um, my hair kind of feels drier afterward than before. It makes it a little bit more pliable and easier like if my hair is really really just needing to be put up in a bun to get through the last couple days before a wash day. I'll spritz it with water just to help me kind of mold it a little bit. But um, overall the feel of it, my hair does not really like um, liquidy water-based refreshers. Go figure. I love the idea of them so much. Spritz and go, convenience, adding water back to your hair, but my hair seems to prefer creamy, leave-in based things if I'm going to be refreshing my hair on dry hair. Um, my hair just doesn't really respond well to water-based refreshers, but I wanted to give this one a try. So I'll probably use this up, um, as I mentioned, to, you know, spritz my hair as I am styling it to keep sections nice and wet and moisturized. Um, probably won't repurchase it because my hair that I really wanted to use it was as a fresher on dry hair. Um, so let's see, is there anything else? Um, yeah, oh, and it smells kind of like clover, which is one of the main ingredients, as I mentioned. And it smells really good and nice and herbally and um, no artificial, you know, hula, just whatever's in it is what you pick up on the scent, which is really nice. Um, the next product is one of their more popular products, which is their pre-poo treatment. I like the bottle. It's a really cute color. Um, I got this to try because it was highly recommended. One of my subscribers posted in a comment on another video that I should give it a try, which is how I found out about the company in the first place. So um, I went to try this out. Um, traditionally, I really have not been a fan of pre-pooing. I used to do it in the past, and um, I just didn't notice any big difference in my, you know, hair care routine or my pre-shampoo or cleansing. I didn't notice a big difference. I don't really like using products to pre-poo because I feel like I'm wasting them because I'm going to be rinsing them out, you know, really soon anyway, and I don't notice a beneficial um, result to pre-pooing. But I wanted to try this because the first thing that I've tried that's formulated specifically for that. So I tested it out on very dry, kind of bunchy, in need of some love and attention hair. So my goal was to jumpstart the detangling process, soften it up a bit, um, as well as protect my hair and infuse it with some moisture before cleansing because cleansing is, you know, supposed to be kind of harsh on the hair even though I use really gentle products to cleanse my hair. Um, I wanted to give it that barrier to kind of see what it did. So I split my hair into a few different sections and um, I put it in a plastic cap and kind of let it marinate and um, do its thing and it says you can leave it on for 30 minutes to an hour and I left it on for an hour to kind of really let it penetrate and everything so when I took the shower cap off I was really pleasantly surprised my hair felt very very soft um, like I had already you know started to deep condition which was really nice so I got in the shower and applied my cleanser as normal and I did notice that I was able to remove a ton more shed hair while I was cleansing than normal. Once I'm in the shower and applying my cleanser and I'm distributing it, I start to already start to remove those shed hairs to um, help when I'm doing the bulk of my detangling. And this definitely helped them, you know, slide out much easier when I was doing that, which I really liked. Um, after I got out of the shower, I noticed that my hair was a little bit softer than usual after cleansing, so I was really impressed with that. Um, overall, for the whole pre-poo, experience. I'm not sure if it's something that I will incorporate into my normal routine because I didn't notice a big enough difference that I would do it um, frequently, but I would definitely do it occasionally if my hair is feeling particularly dry and I was trying to baby it, especially as these winter months are coming up. Um, so definitely something that I'll be revisiting a little bit more as winter packs a punch and hits. Um, I also use this as a leave-in conditioner and it's a really nice light consistency not super 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 thick so um it applied really really well so there it is really nice water based um and it gave my hair decent slip on and i'm just going to apply it to my hair now um it gave my hair decent slip when i was using it as a leave conditioner not a ton of moisture because i mentioned it is pretty lightweight but not bad not bad at all um, not sure if I'll repurchase this one again. I'm going to experiment with a few other things to see how I like them as pre-poos. Like, you know, honey and oil and conditioner and oil, things like that. Um, and kind of see how I like it compared to a pre-poo as um, this product. Um, so, yes. So, I'm going to be 
checking and comparing a couple of other things to see if I would like to purchase it again. Okay, guys, so last but not least is my favorite product. Um, I have another product from them. The Habis the label has come off um because they are like kind of cardboard labels, so there is something to be aware of. They kind of um fade and stuff as they get wet in the shower and things like that. The hibiscus and hibiscus and marshmallow leave-in conditioner. This is the only product that I ordered that I haven't tried yet, and um, I'll do a separate review on this one once I have given it a go. But, um, yeah, this is the only other product that I have to try. Um, so, the piece de resistance. The um, Alma and Nettle Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. And I also got this in the 16 ounce. It also comes in 8 ounce. But you guys know I go big with my um, sizes most of the time now to uh, go far in on my hair. So, I got the 16 ounce. Um, and, again, the ingredients are kind of like this. But just to give you... Um, some of the greatest hits. It's got uh, almond oil, slip, slippery elm, Brazilian nut butter, neem, cinnamon, um, flaxseed oil, settled alcohol, jojoba oil, um, stercolum chloride, stuff like that. And I want to say that this one's kind of customizable. I think it gave you the option of getting it with or without wheat protein. And I got it without just because my hair seems to thrive more on moisture overall in my deep conditioning routine than protein so I wanted to get this like for you know straight moisture and I think Alma has some strengthening properties to it so I know that I would have um a nice hit from that so I opted for the one without the wheat protein but you can of course get it when you are checking it out and this is the product that I don't see on the website and um, I really hope that it's just sold out I think this is another one of the more popular items because um this is one of my favorite deep conditioners that I've tried this year. Um, I'm really, really impressed with it. I love it. It feels so good when it's going into my hair like no other deep conditioner that I have. Um, so let's see. It says that it is intended to moisturize, condition, and leave your hair feeling soft, silky, shiny, and nourished. Um, this moisturizing treatment made with essential ingredients that it's... Uh, kind of running off with the label oh that lead to healthy and strong hair is what I think it says so um it says you're supposed to you know apply to your hair detangle you know the usual DC stuff so um let me show you the consistency it's like really interesting so here it is in here it's kind of like a I don't know beigey color beigey color and it's really it's not super thick it's actually like it feels kind of whipped when you apply it to your hair like I don't have any deep conditioners that kind of just like melt instantly into my hair like I never put it on like my hair feels really soft and conditioned but once I apply it I don't see it anymore it just sinks right into my hair immediately and I was like what um so yeah it has like a really whipped consistency it's so nice um I can smell kind of the cinnamon going on there which is really cool and um, funny story about that, I used this the day before I went to the gym one day and um, I was over by a window doing some stuff and my hair caught the light and it had this like really cool reddish brownish tint and I don't know if that was from you know being out in the sun all summer but I have heard that some cinnamon treatments can lighten your hair a little bit so I was like huh that was something I had not noticed the whole summer until I was by that window the night after I used this treatment so I don't know pretty cool um see so yeah, a really nice light airy whipped consistency it applies to my hair um really easily so I don't have to use a ton because it's not super super thick and gloppy it's a light product but it packs a huge moisture punch when I actually um, started applying it to my hair I didn't know if it was going to really leave it really soft and conditioned because it was so light um, like I said it's unlike any consistency of deep conditioner that I have it's like whipped and kind of fluffy I really really like it um, I apply it to my hair and the slip on this stuff is amazing, you guys. The slip is awesome. Um, I don't leave it in my hair because of the um, Ayurvedic ingredients. I do always leave a little bit of my deep conditioner in my hair. So I use a little bit, but not a ton. And um, I really like it. Definitely hope this is still available because I love it. So um, that's it, you guys. I'm going to post her 
Facebook info as well as check her out on Instagram. She has a lot of sales, featured items that are on sale throughout the whole month and sales that usually last the whole month. So um, I'll see you really soon in my next video. Take care guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.